How you guys doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy, and welcome inside my grow room. And today I want to talk about tomato cuttings, clones, propagation, rooting suckers, however you want to put it. Uh, there's all kinds of different lingo around it, uh, but essentially it's taking a piece of that plant and getting it to root so that you can create a new plant, okay? So I've got my take on it, and it's much similar than everyone else that's posted a video about it. What's different about mine is, is I wasn't intending on using cuttings this year for tomato plants because 10 days ago I did a video on how to start hydroponic uh, seedlings or, or seed starting in rock wool cubes, okay? Well, uh, about six or seven days into the process, everything was going phenomenal. Everything was sprouting, everything was up. It was just, it was perfect. And then uh, I took the, the top off, I watered them, I forgot to put the top back on, and I went away on a conference. In the meantime, I left the seedling mat on. So, if you can't put two and two together, three days later, I came back to fried seedlings. My cubes dried out, my tomatoes were gone and everything. So now I have to kick it into gear because I'm so late into the season. I did replant uh, three varieties in Rockwell, but man, it is going to be a late start uh, given the date already. So I was lazy and I forgot to pull two plants, uh, tomato plants, out of the front garden. Um, so... I am going to take those cuttings and I'm going to try to root them in. So this is my take on how I will root my cuttings this year. So um, everyone's got a video on it, so I'm joining the team. Take a look. I started out the process of uh, propagating tomatoes, um, obviously with having some leftover tomatoes still alive. I also have uh, some styrofoam cups. I have some very, very good potting soil. I think the, be the better the soil, the better the opportunity of success for this. In addition, we will need some water because uh, we need some really damp soil to put the suckers in. Next, I popped a couple of holes in the bottom of each styrofoam cup for proper drainage. Next, I filled the cups up with a very high-grade potting soil. I think I'll get into a whole episode of what I think is the world's greatest potting soil, but we'll save that for later. Regardless, filled the cups up. Next, I watered them thoroughly. I wanted to make sure everything was nice and damp. I think this is, this is important. I think you want to put your cuttings into a damp environment. I don't think you want to put them into a dry environment and then water. I don't know why I think that. It's probably because I'm neurotic and crazy. Regardless, water goes in first. And now the star of the show, the tomato plants. I took two cuttings from the tips and two suckers, okay, growing from the armpit of the plant. Now, this is an incredibly blurry shot of two tomato plants. I didn't really take care of them very well. I just popped them in the ground and a couple of leftovers from the spring. However, the one on the left is Mortgage Lifter and the one on the right is uh, Big Boy. And what do you know? There's still a couple of tomatoes on it, so... Uh, it does produce, so I'm hoping it'll produce for me. In this shot, I'm showing uh, taking the cutting from the tip. This is the very end of the uh, main mother plant here. And I guess it's something, a, a shot of what not to do, okay? I ended up cutting it far lower than what this picture shows. You want it probably about five to six inches of stem so you have uh, the more surface area for roots to take hold. So uh, this is cutting it a little short. I ended up going a little uh, further down the stem. Okay, here's a shot of one of the cuttings right here. And I think the next step in the process is probably the most critical part of the process, and that's getting into the pruning of the, of the cutting because uh, you definitely want to get this thing pruned up. You want very minimal leaves, but you do want some left for photosynthesis. Let's take a look. 
So here is the pruned up product. Okay, I took the lower, lower leaves off, and it makes complete sense to me in that we don't want this plant to put any energy into keeping those lower leaves alive. We want all the energy going into producing new roots and starting a new plant. But, but then again, we also want to leave some... Uh, leaves on the plant to, for photosynthesis for a way to capture the energy to send down to the roots as well. So um, this is probably as good as it's going to get. Just leave two leaves on the stem. Next, I put uh, some holes into the dirt uh, for the cutting to go into. I ended up using a rooting hormone. Uh, I dipped uh, the, st the cuttings into the rooting hormone just to give them a jump start. I've been told that this is optional, but you know what? I had it on hand, and for me, uh, this is probably not optional. I want the most success that I can get out of this. So I am using a rooting hormone on this uh, to help jump start it. And here's what it looks like after they've been dipped in the hormone. And now you can place your cutting into the soil, press it down around the stem, and we will pray that this takes hold so that we have something to grow with. Here is a shot of me kissing the tomato to make you incredibly uncomfortable. And finally, here are two racks of ribs. All right, guys, I got those four seedlings back inside. Uh, They're out of the elements. They're sitting on my kitchen windowsill right now, out of direct sunlight. I want to keep them out of direct sunlight because they don't need any additional stress right now. Um, they've just been separated from the mother plant. They need time to take root and to get a foothold into the um, dirt. So I'm going to give them about six or seven days, probably like that. And then if they look good, I'll gradually start bringing them into the grow room, almost like the process of hardening off your spring starts uh, to get them acclimated to the environment, okay? And so I want to get them acclimated into this environment. And they definitely do not need the, the high output bulbs right now, okay? So uh, we'll come back in about a week. If they start looking good, I'll start gradually putting them back in here. And in addition, in a week, maybe we'll take a peek at these uh, topped peppers, see if they're uh, hanging in there. Let's take a look at the pepper seedlings that I had from the video a week prior. Uh, what a difference a week makes on those, man. Those things are booming right now. I'm, I'm real geeked about that. It's the only thing that's really going right right now. And we'll also see if I've got any, um, any progress on these newly planted tomato seeds here, too. So uh, a lot going on. I also want to get some lettuce in. So... Come on back in about a week or so. I should have a video out probably next weekend at some point, and we'll just kind of take a tour, see what's going on around here. And also, I'll probably want to start planting cucumbers, okay? So, um, lots to do still. Hopefully, I can kick it into gear. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. As always, we will see you next time. Take care. Bye.